In our Women's Health Minute, we hear a lot about young people vaping, but some good news when it comes to students smoking and vaping just out. And a new study on people with HIV donating kidneys. All right, first, youth and tobacco use. It is at a 25-year low. It's tobacco products, including cigarettes and vaping. It's revealed in data just released from the 2024 Nath National Youth Tobacco Survey. Use is considered using tobacco one or more times in the past 30 days. And last year, 2.8 million middle and high schoolers used tobacco products. This year, that number is down to 2.25 million. And even though the numbers are down, experts say millions of young people using these products is still too many. A new study finding that people with HIV can safely receive donated kidneys from deceased donors with the virus. Researchers looked at almost 200 kidney transplants in the U.S. They found similar results whether the donated organ came from a person with or without the AIDS virus. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has proposed a rule change that would allow these types of kidney and liver transplants outside of research studies. With your Women's Health Minute, I'm Lisa Carberg, News 8.